today <clears throat> I was watching a video about this guy. He was uh, did everything he could to hide his identity. He went to an uh, Irish town. He was uh, disposing of all of his items. Um, <clears throat> he stayed in a hotel, checked in, and um, <clears throat> older gentleman, every day he would leave the hotel with this plastic bag and he was disposing of all identifying things. Now, the reading I got in the first was that he, yeah, there was a tower moment of, uh, let me see if I can have the cards here again. No, I already shuffled them. Yeah, I already shuffled them. But it was a tower moment in his life and there was a death that was coming, the, the a realistic thing was a death was coming, and uh, he was trying to get away with what's coming forward, okay? Now, I had very strange energy with those, because I did check it with the, uh, with my linga, um, and what I got with it was very, very odd, you know? This guy did everything he could to hide his identity. And he was trying to get away with something and going forward. Now the energy on this was jumping. It was jumping, okay? And I'm going, why is this jumping and pulling? Just so you could feel the pendulum pulling and jumping. And so I'm looking at it. What, what is he trying to get away with? What is happening with this, okay? They, there's no name for this gentleman. He signed in under a false name, a false address, okay? He even went so far as to cut all the labels out of his clothing, everything, so he could never be identified. He went over by the beach. He died on the beach, yet, um, and they said he had... Uh, advanced prostate cancer and also cancer in the bones, had no, um, he had no uh, painkillers in him, and it would be a very painful thing to have that in the bones and the prostate, everything that he had going, okay? And though he died on the beach, um, in the water, it was not in his lungs, so he did not die of a drowning, okay? so. Very, very odd, odd thing. Now, what I got with it, he was having a, so, some skewed ideas in the mindset. He had some skewed ideas. And then I laid out three more cards, you know, about his passing. And what I got was something new coming in. I had the, um, yeah, it's gone now. It, it was the page of cups. Some new emotional thing was coming in. Then I had a queen of cups and I had the ace of wands, the um, taking an action. Now what was weird was, uh, and this is why pendulum is good to use with these things sometimes, because I got, uh, yes, some new thing had come in and I got to the Queen of Cups. Now what happened with the Queen of Cups was that energy was going backwards, which is an indication that there was something there of dark, nefarious things, dark darkness, darkness surrounding something that had come in and he had taken action. So the feeling I got with this, when putting it all together, he had a skewed mindset. This came in of this dark, dark action that was happening, okay? This dark action um, that he felt like he was, uh, the feeling I got that he had been cursed. He felt like he had been cursed and was trying to rid the identity for this cursed thing to follow him to the afterlife, 
is what it was feeling like. Now, this was a very, very odd reading, a very odd feeling, because like I said, when I was doing the one, it was the uh, Seven of Swords with in conjunction with going ahead, trying to get away with something in going ahead, future. And, and I mean, it was jumping. You could feel it like a magnetic pull and jumping. It was just odd. And I go, you know, looking at, now what's going on with this? But what I got through the whole thing was he has feeling that he was cursed. Something was following him. This was a payoff for something, okay? I was getting the uh, six of coins, a payoff for something, okay? Feeling he was cursed. He was in that skewed mindset of that curse and trying to get away with going forward. So I don't know whether he had, um, let's see if it's going to tell us, whether he had thought he had done something that cursed him, some of his own actions, and he was trying to get away with it. Maybe he had done something in his past. Or let's look and see this. Or was that feeling that somebody had cursed him, that somebody had done something to curse him? Was he feeling that somebody else had done something? No. No, it was his own action, something he had done in the past that he felt had cursed him. He was under a curse now because of his past actions, and he was doing everything he could to get rid of the identity. So this was such a strange, strange thing. I'll go ahead and put up the link to that video where they're talking about this guy that showed up and he's trying to get, you know, very interesting case. But again, you know, I just wanted to do this uh, kind of an investigative thing, trying something new, seeing what comes out of it. And what come out of it, again, was feeling that this guy had done something in his past that he, he was cursed from. He was not on the radar of anywhere. Let me see. Let's ask. I don't know if he committed, did he commit abuses and things in when he was in the military? Was it due to military? Not that. Did he commit a murder? Was it a murder? Was it sh sexual trauma? Did he commit sexual trauma? Did he torture somebody? Did, was it torture? Was he into dark arts? Did he use dark arts to get ahead? Okay. Dark arts. Okay, so I don't know what he used it for, but apparently what this is saying, now again, you know, it's for entertainment purposes. There's no way to go back and check it, but according to this, he was using dark arts. And you don't ever want to use dark arts because it's going to catch up with you. And in here, he was trying to do everything he could to not be... Uh, discovered to not be, you know, what well, you can't hide yourself. You know, if you're going to use dark arts, you're going to reap that karma it is going to come back on you. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here, but ooh, it just gives me, oh, I just got those shivers. Hmm.
oh man, I'm just getting those shivers up the spine, you know, that's saying, yeah, he was into dark arts is what he, what he was doing. And while he looked at like a very mild mannered elderly man, okay, there was something dark there and he felt it was pursuing him. It had caught up with him, okay? So I'm gonna leave this here. You know, looking forward to what do you think with this, okay? What do you feel with this? Because this was a very, very odd thing. This is the first time I've done something like this and I just wanted to check and see if we could uncover some of these things that happened. Very, very bizarre case. So I'm gonna leave this here. See you online. Much love and light.